Hi there and welcome to Art from the Cottage. So today my video is going to be about uh, the Raku uh, pottery that I do. And so here are a few examples of the type of thing that I do. So Raku pottery. Uh, Raku pottery has to have, um, you have to have a gas kiln really, um, because you need to be able to open the kiln um, as soon as the uh, items are fired. And with um, electric kilns, it's different. You've got to wait a certain amount of hours before you can open the kiln. So this, with Araku pottery, the items, the pottery items are taken out of the kiln um, when, when they're red hot, uh, sometimes they're white hot. And the kiln is usually um, brought up to over a thousand degrees. This is another method that can be used. This, uh, this vase has been taken out of the kiln red hot and it's being sprayed with, um, with um, methylated spirits. Yeah. And this is the effect that you get, it's like a sort of peacock effect. So when the items are taken out of the kiln red hot, they're placed into a container an airtight, well, it's almost airtight, a container, a metal container with a lid, and inside that are some uh, combustible materials. So inside the, the metal containers, I put sort of um, things like, all organic things like sprigs of rosemary, palm leaves, seaweed, um, sawdust and newspaper, miracle grow plant food, and all, anything that I can get my hands on, uh, usually lovely things that I find in the hedgerow. You can use banana peel and um, you can use rose petals. And all these lovely combustible organic materials are what's needed for creating the magic of Raku. So those were a couple of new, the nude figures that I do. And the crackle, in the in the um, piece is deliberate it's a special glaze that uh, creates a crackle and the smoke goes into the cracks and creates um, a lovely black um, effect in in the piece so this effect is um, achieved by taking the pottery out of the kiln red hot again and um, throwing horse hair onto it and you get these lovely sort of this lovely pattern of the horse's hair that's burnt into the piece. So this shows a piece that's um, the glaze has been put onto it, and then it's fired, and there you are. You've got the that's the finished piece, and you can get some beautiful effects. Um, they look like copper. They look like pure copper sometimes, and this is a piece that's that is the glaze. And that is the finished piece. And you can see it's very, very shiny. And um, it just looks like it's made of copper. And on this one, I embedded some um, ammonites into the clay as I was, um, you know, forming the, the um, item. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You can support my channel via Super Thanks or just simply liking and subscribing. And with that, I'll say bye for now, and as always, love from Cornwall.